Hi everybody, this is Josh with another video on Google Slides. What I want to show you in this video is a project that I collaborated with my daughter on and I'm very excited about it. Of course, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a fan of Google Slides and the Google Drive ecosystem, the suite of applications that it offers. Google Slides is one of the apps that I find myself using the most. I love the ability to create multiple pages or slides. In this case, a front and a back to a postcard size invitation that we designed together for Kimmy's 13th birthday coming up. And what I find really great about applications like this is that this is a project that my daughter and I were able to do because she's using the Google Drive ecosystem every day at school. She uses it for homework and for creating presentations for her classes. So her and her classmates are familiar with Google Drive's ecosystem and are comfortable with using these applications. I think this is incredible. What I'm interested in doing is using these things using these tools and pushing the envelope for what for perhaps what these tools were intended to do and exploiting some of their limitations by allowing them to challenge my creativity to hopefully actually become even better at design. So I just want to kind of pick this thing apart and I want to show you. So here's the, the photograph of Kimmy, that's my daughter, and I cut that out. I took the picture with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which has a fantastic camera on it. I took the picture and just cut it out using the same method that I showed in a previous video using Gravit Designer. Saved it as a high-resolution PNG image and just dragged and dropped it right into this Google Slides document. I'll zoom in on this a little bit. Same with this. Uh, this is a separate image here. This is just a PNG image with a transparent background. All of the text here is word art. I can edit it just by double clicking and changing the text inside. If I go to my master slides, I'll go to slides, edit masters. I'm using these layouts to place my backgrounds. And you can see here I have an image that is mostly transparent. If I go to my format options and under adjustments, you can see it's about 50% transparent. And what that allows me to do is to change the color of my background on the slide. And in this case, I've made it a gradient black to kind of give a, a vignette effect. And then I'm using a different layout here. If I right click, I can go to apply layouts. And you can see I'm using a different layout that I created in the master section to import a different background. I like using the layouts in the master section for my backgrounds because it allows me to arrange things on the page with more freedom and more confidence that I won't accidentally select the background or move it off uh, or readjust it accidentally. So I use those masters for creating my backgrounds most of the time. So this would be the front of the invite card and this will be the back of the invite card. Again, we just have some word art in here that I can move around on the page. Another PNG image for that seal. Some vector shapes, just a rectangle, some text boxes. And then uh, another transparent image down here, sort of a watermark effect of the Hogwarts castle down there at the bottom. So this was all created inside Google Slides, other than just cutting out the photo using Gravit Designer. And what I want to show in this video is that the tool doesn't always determine good design or bad design. You can accomplish some fantastic looking results using Google Slides. And I love that it's a collaborative tool. She could actually open this up at school to show her teachers. We could work on it together. If we both had this open on our computers, she would see what I have selected. She could move things around. I would see it in near real time as she maybe moved something around. And likewise, she would see the changes that I would be making. And uh, we've done that before. I've used this tool before with, with clients in professional projects to be working on a document like a newsletter together so that they can be inputting text while I work on layouts or something else. And it's just an amazingly powerful tool to be able to use for graphic design. And people still seem surprised when I show them designs like this and say it was created in a web browser. It's just exciting to me. I like that. So I hope this helps somebody who's watching this video, maybe just inspires you to create something. You might already have the tools you need. So check out Google Slides for maybe things that you haven't expected before. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.